And we back. We needed a mock with some bop in it. So, of course, I'm not going to leave y'all hanging too, 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 too bad. But uh, I don't do this a lot, but I think that's part of the beauty of it. You know, the the fact that I only do one mock draft all year because I do love to change my mind. The fact that I'm going to do one mock draft a year kind of make this, you know, special. Almost. Kind of. Sort of. But we are here for it. Uh, the Vach Lombardi mock draft one point only. Uh, we're going to do this and, um, you know. We're going to try to do this based on what I would do. It's this not an accuracy thing. I'm not trying to keep up with the mock draft accuracy pool. Um, you know, and this really isn't for you to come in and tell me how much you hate the pick that I gave you. You know, you should be you should be happy. You should be thankful with whatever pick I give you, even if even if you don't like it. You want to know why? Because if your inadequate front office picked that person in real life, then you should be mo mad. All right. So let's get this going. Let's run it for the cardio. Pick number one, Joe Burrow. No discussion. Get in there. Get on with your life. I ain't even really got to break this one down. Let's just move on. Bengals fans, uh, you know, they should be, they should have done all their Joe Burrow research and the Bengals front office should have sent that playbook out months ago. Um, now, the uh, Washington team has been, you know, they've been looking at Chase Young for the for the past few months or so, but this ain't what they would do or what y'all expect or what Daniel Jeremiah does. This is what Vash Lombardi going to do. Vash Lombardi got Dwayne Haskins on my team. Washington hired me to come in to be the new GM. I want to come in and, and, and pick my guys because the last administration picked Dwayne Haskins. I'm not a big fan of that guy, so I'm going to go ahead and get to a tongue of a lower, upgrade him, and see if I can send Haskins out to one of these teams that need quarterbacks. I'll send them to the Patriots or something. See if I can get some picks out of them. Um, then we're going to end up going Chase Young at uh, Detroit. Now, something else I'm going to do in this uh, this mock is I'm going to indicate where where trades could happen. I think trades could happen at three and four. I think somebody's going to try to move up and and uh, you know try to take try to take quarterback there. But what I think. What, why I think that's the that's the case or whatnot because I think both these teams feel they have a quarterback that they feel good about, you know the Giants. Hey, we'll kind of see, but I think these guys are are somewhat set at quarterback. And if they move down a little bit, if you're the Giants, you're going to end up taking Jedrick Wills. And I hate how the uh, the draft network got him way down here, but. If you're the Giants, you know, you can move down a little bit. Even if you're one of the maniacs that say, hey, let's take let's take Isaiah Simmons here at four, right? You can still move down, get an extra pick, and still potentially get Isaiah Simmons. If not, get a corner. Uh get uh get Jeff Okuda. You know what I mean? If not, uh still get one of the offensive linemen you were gonna get anyway. So I think that uh three and four are prime opportunities for uh for those for other teams to try to move up into the draft. And of course, you know the Lions have that same thought process as well. We've been talking about that for a while now. Now um, if I'm the the new GM at the Miami Dolphins and I can't get Joe Burrow and I can't get Tua, I'm not in the business of panic picking. I'm not gonna go get Justin Herbert just because uh, just because everybody else is you know going to go get Justin Herbert. I think my team is a little less complete than other teams that can possibly draft quarterback. And I'm a big fan of the build my house theory. I'm, I'm not trying to draft a rookie quarterback first. Like if I start a brand new franchise i'm not getting a quarterback first because the o line is going to be bad the running back is going to be bad the receivers are going to be bad i ain't saying that about the the dolphins it's just my train of thought so if i'm the dolphins i got three picks in the first round and i want to continue to build my house i seen brian uh brian flores uh make a cool little run with fitzpatrick and some you know some cool little guys or whatever so let's give flores more than some cool little guys see him continue to build that team then we can see if we can get a quarterback next year it, it could be via free agency or you could draft a guy so with me not drafting justin herbert right here because i'm not that high on him to you know just kind of take right right here with this team and these picks i'm not giving up these picks to trade up or anything i'm just going to get the best player available that kind of fits what i need jeff okuda would be right here uh but we spent free agency on byron jones Xavier how was a lot of money i think they're pretty good at corner i could do a no fly zone thing put xavier howard at, at nickel and put byron jones and jeff okuda on the outside i do believe in overkill um but i'm gonna take isaiah simmons right here because i just think it kind of makes a little bit of sense um you know isaiah simmons is a is a guy that i call a ultimate luxury pick and you would only draft him if you got pieces at every level of your defense already and i think they kind of got that in um in miami they got players that they can 
put you know they, they got players in places they can put so if you move isaiah simmons away from a place they can just plug and plug another guy there um and if they don't have that player already they got 13 other picks in this draft they can uh they can use so moving right on along uh the chargers are a team that i think they have a lot more players they their house is a little better built than um <clears throat> than the uh than the dolphins is dolphins house is uh they got they got a running back that they feel good about they'll probably draft another guy later wide receiver is good they're building that offensive line um you know, so I feel good about about the Chargers offense's house already. So I feel good about them. Go ahead and drafting a quarterback. So let's put Justin Herbert in uh, L.A. I don't know if I called him San Diego on accident. But anyway, um, you know, Jeff Okuda normally shouldn't fall this far. But I just think by like circumstances, he just ended up being here. And Carolina's probably shouldn't pass on that dude. So let's get uh, Jeff Okuda there. You don't need a scouting report for him. Um, and if I was the GM for the uh, for the Cardinals, I need a raise already. Assuming you know, you know that everybody noticed how I just robbed Houston for uh, DeAndre Hopkins. So uh, I'm not in the receiver market if I'm the Arizona Cardinals. So let me get the best uh, best offensive lineman available, right? So Tristan Wirfs is up there, but on my board, Andrew Thomas is better. So let's go ahead. Pardon me. Let's just go ahead and get Andrew Thomas and put him in the cut. Um, now this is a opportunity for somebody to trade up and come get the, uh, the Jaguars pick, but I think the Jaguars are a team that could be doing the moving up. The Jaguars have uh, two first round picks. They have a disgruntled young pass rusher. I think they can use all, all of those things to potentially move up and get a quarterback. You know, they're saying, well, Vach, what, what about, what about Gardner Minshew? And Vach would say, what about him? Exactly. So there'll probably be a team that'll move up and get a quarterback, but we're not doing trades in this draft. And if they stay put, we're just going to get uh, CJ Henderson in on this team. I think that's a pretty good place for him. No, I'm not being mean to guard the issue. Y'all going to have to get over yourselves. Uh, Cleveland Browns should not do anything tricky. They shouldn't try to get cute. I saw some reports about them, you know, trading back to get some extra picks and just ending up drafting Ezra, Ezra Cleveland, the tackle from Boise State. Um, I don't want to call BS because it's not like I got faith in these front offices anyway. Um, and this ain't me trying to sound cocky. This ain't me thinking highly of myself. But I, I, I've seen front offices do enough goofy stuff to where I shouldn't have faith in them just because they are in a, a front office in the, the National Football League. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to give Cleveland benefit of the doubt. They could be thinking of something goofy like that. But if Vach was in charge, I'm just, I'm just going to take the best player and move on with my life. So uh, at this point, the best offensive lineman right here, uh, that'll be uh, Tristan Wilson worse according to my board so we're gonna go ahead and get worse if you don't work out a tackle put him at guard and he'll be the best guard since quentin nelson not better than quentin nelson but he'll be the best guard prospect since him so that's that <clears throat> if i was the jets um i know you uh you have a lot of needs you know it's it's not like one pick is gonna um change your your franchise right now you just got rid of robin anderson i, I know you want to fix that speed thing with henry ruggs but i think the offensive lineman about to run out real quick so let's go ahead and get makai beckton in um in that jet green and then we'll go get one of those speedy receivers at the top of the second round i just think that's going to end up making sense because the run on offensive tackle has happened and the run on receiver is bound to happen that's my thinking if i'm the jets gm so i'm gonna go ahead and give Makai back then in the paint and um move on with my life and hopefully we can uh coach him up to greatness if i'm the oakland raiders now there are a few teams that uh that that seem to be in the wide receiver market right now the raiders the 49ers and the uh the broncos they're all in the wide receiver market here's my logic when it comes down to the raiders and the 49ers pick if i'm the gm right if I'm the GM, I'm saying, man, look, I, I kind of need some help on on defense, right? I would like to just get the best player and be responsible there. I know these wide receivers exist and they're fantastic. But the one thing that the Jets, uh, pardon me, that the Raiders and the 49ers have that the Broncos don't is that they have an additional pick at the end of the first round, like the Raiders pick right there, the 49ers pick at 31. So I'm gonna try to get a receiver there and just get the best defensive player I could possibly get because these defensive players are also about to run out. So if I'm the Raiders, I'm just gonna get the best defensive player I could possibly get my hands on, and they got a three tech and uh, Maurice Hurst already. So let's get them. Uh, let's get them a one tech and Derrick Brown. And they can fill that D line out. Um, 
<clears throat> and if I'm the 49ers, I'm going by the exact same logic, right? I'm 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 gonna get a receiver at 31. The Jets, uh, I mean the uh, the Broncos don't have that luxury of of having a pick at the end of the first round, so I'm probably gonna end up taking a receiver for the Broncos. But um, if I'm the 49ers, I'm just gonna get the best defender I can get. There's some room for a guy like Javon Kinlaw to come in and um, you know be on my team and raise some hell. So let's go get Javon Kinlaw to come be on my team and raise some hell. Considering we just um, you know, we just uh, didn't put ourselves in a salary cap jeopardizing situation by paying um, DeForest Buckner. He's an Indianapolis Colt now. Let me just, you know, bring in, uh, bring him in, put Ken Law where Buckner was and just kind of save that money for the next five years. I think that's some good GM. And, um, so anyway, anyway, what we got? Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the clock. Cool. They're probably going to go. Uh, they, they were in the market for offensive line, you know, and that kind of got wiped real quick. So they could go Josh Jones. He is a guy that I think could go right here. He is a guy that could go right here. Um, and this is uh, like one of them trade target picks for somebody to kind of move up and, you know, kind of make it do what it do. You know, if you know that the Broncos are trying to go wide receiver, you may want to get in front of them, especially if your wide receiver board has been wiped out. I don't really know what the vibe is going to be on draft day, but that's just what my thoughts are right now. But if nothing happens right now, I'm going to either go offensive line, which that's gone. I'm just going to go like the best defender I could I could, I could, could probably get. And that's probably going to be a front seven guy. Edge is important. So we're going to go Caleb Von Chase on for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And like I said earlier, we're drafting wide receiver for a Broncos they don't have a, a they don't have a, a first round pick at the end of the first like a second first round pick at the end so uh, we're going to get them a wide receiver that complements Corlin Sutton um, and uh, I think they've been linked to uh, to Henry Ruggs so let's go ahead and give them Henry Ruggs and move on with our life um, I think the Falcons are in the D-line market okay and there is one guy that's not really high on this draft network uh, board, but uh, hey, we using Vach Lombardi's brain right here, so we're gonna skip all over Yeter Gross model. We're gonna skip smooth over him, and we're just gonna keep going down a little bit, keep going down a little bit. We're gonna run to my guy AJ Epinesa, who this number should be in the twenties. I don't know why they got him ranked thirty-seven, but he should be ranked in the twenties. I don't care about the PFF speed and spark number and metrics and athleticism. Um, your most athletic player is gonna get a sack in like two and a half seconds. AJ Epinesa is going to get that same sack in two and a half seconds. He's just going to do it running through people. Um, and my question that I, that I always uh, you know, pose to people, would you rather a quick, twitchy six sacks or a, uh, or a uh, slow, angry, bullying 12 sacks? You know, you don't care in the speed. You just want the sack. So AJ Epinesa, um, I'm a big fan of him. He's going to be on, you know, he's going to be on my team if, <laughs> if I can get him. But. It is what it is. Uh, Cowboys take C.D. Lamb because he's fantastic. Um, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all know the vibes there. I ain't got to break that down too, 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 too much. Um, you know, there are some Cowboy fans that wouldn't take a receiver in the first round and say, "Well, Vice, what about defense? Well, you got six other picks. Uh, you got six other picks to uh, pick guys on defense. And if I'm the GM in charge, I trust my 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 draft evaluations. You know, so if you need a D tackle, I can get you one in the second, third, or fourth. Or a, a pass rush, I can get you one later. I can get you a cornerback later." I can get you a safety later. So uh, you're just going to have to trust your GM. And if I'm the 32 GMs of the, of the National Football League, then uh, I should have everybody sitting pretty. Um, like I say, if you're the Dolphins, you're just kind of currently building the house, getting the best players you can get your hands on. I think this is a good place for Jerry Judy to go, to give uh, whoever your future quarterback is, give that dude somebody to throw to. Do it just like that, just like that. So um, the Oakland Raiders is a team. They didn't take the wide receiver in the first pick. So let's give them a wide receiver in the uh, in the second pick. Let's give them um, Justin Jefferson. <clears throat> Why not give them a, uh, give him uh, give him Jordan Jefferson? Justin Jefferson. I keep calling him Jordan Jefferson. That's another LSU guy. He played quarterback. Might be his cousin or something. I don't know. Justin Jefferson, wide receiver from LSU. I think he'll be a pretty good fit there in Oakland. He can play inside and outside. Plug him in. Let him rock. Um, at this point, I. I think it's good to take a safety off the board. Let's get Grant Delpit, plug him in there, and let's be great at safety for the next handful of years. Uh, try to get that defense uh, back on par to where they once was. Um, I don't like the Philadelphia Eagles, so we're gonna draft them a fullback or something. But um, that'll 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 make my day. But we're gonna be fair to him. We're gonna give him a receiver. Uh, and I think a receiver that will fit well with them is Jalen Rager, um, just to compliment the guys that they have there already. They got they got a couple guys that, that are similar to the other players on this board right now. But we're going to give them Jalen Rager um, to 
like like I don't think I don't think Deshaun Jackson is gonna be there very long. So Jalen Ray is gonna be a guy that can learn how to be fast guy in the league behind him. He can come in and play the slot for you today. You plug him in, be great, move on with your life. Not a fan of the Eagles, I'm a fan of Jalen Rager. There you go, buddy. Um I think the Minnesota Vikings are a defensive drafting team, but they're a team that have two first round picks and they're in the market for a receiver. So I'm not going to take receiver with the 22nd pick. We're going to take a receiver with the 25th pick. But um, if we know the Vikings, they're a defensive leaning team. So at this point, I think cornerback is a is a uh, is a good is a good place to go. Now uh, I don't know who their cornerback is that'll be available on the board right now. You know the the third cornerback left on the board. I don't know who their guy is going to be, but um, if I just had to use my board the next best available corner would be christian fulton for uh from lsu i think that'll be a good get for them i don't know how Jalen johnson got way up here <laughs> in front of all these guys i don't know but um we're gonna get christian fulton we're gonna plug him in and um we're gonna let him be that guy some people ask me vice i you know you, you don't like jeff gladney well just because i ain't draft him ahead of some other people don't mean i don't like him relax i i could just read people's mind i just know how this is gonna work um the New Orleans, not New Orleans, New England Patriots. Okay, they're kind of in the quarterback market. I think they're gonna end up tanking and trying to get Trevor next year. That'll make me sick. Uh, so we need a team to be way worse than the Patriots this year. Uh, so Jets step up to the task. You know the Jaguars. You know, hey, all y'all other teams that's way up there. You know what I mean? Washington, I need y'all to be incredibly bad so that the Patriots don't end up getting um getting sunshine next year. But um. For the sake of this draft, they'll probably just get like a like the best defending the best defensive defensive player available. They may get a I don't know like a receiver or something, but um I think they're gonna just hey just put quarterback up there. You know this this is my draft. We ain't taking this too 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 seriously. Just give the Patriots a a quarterback for the sake of Patriots stuff. But we don't know how the Patriots gonna draft. The Patriots don't even draft that incredibly well, to be honest. So they'll probably draft the fullback right here for real. Um, but we just gonna uh, put him on the Patriots and move on with the rest of our draft. Um, I'm going to go defense for the New Orleans Saints. Da, da, da. Patrick Queen, let's keep him in Louisiana. I think they're uh, you know, hey, just give him give him linebacker help, man. You can never have too much linebacker help, and I think the 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 Saints are pretty much set everywhere else. You know what I mean? So, uh, plug him in, give him linebacker help. They could go like D line, I guess. That's that's another place that they could go. But um, hey, they getting Patrick Queen in my draft. I'm not here for your back talk. All right. Not here for your back talk. Now we're here with the Minnesota Vikings. This is their second first round pick. This is where they go receiver. You know what I mean? And look, man, if, if I'm any of these guys that got two first round picks, I'm absolutely getting the best player I can get with that first one, and then coming in, coming back and getting a receiver with the uh, with the uh, the second first round pick. And you know, like I said, man, you know. And it's, it's, it's pros and cons to that system. You know, you can wait around for receiver all you want to because when that run happens, it happens. We've, I mean, we ain't wiped out that receiver, but some of the guys you really, really like, you know what I mean? They kind of gone. Like T. Higgins still there. I like him. Hamler still there, but I ain't taking him in the first, you know, but... You know, um, you know, people want to say, yo, Vach, it's like a million receivers you can get. I mean, I get it, but like a million of them probably go in the first round. Like a million of them probably get taken. And, you know, you feel good about these guys. But how many of these guys do you feel really, really great about? I think the really, really great guys have come off the board by now. But anyway, that's just my thoughts. Uh, do I have time to address offensive line with the Miami Dolphins? I think Josh Jones will probably get taken way before this. Um, but he's available. He's on the board. Let's go ahead and get him. Um, they have um, Eric Flowers on their offensive line. So that and 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 they and they paid him thirty million dollars. The Dolphins paid Eric Flowers thirty million dollars. So that should give you vibes about what that offensive line room looks like over there. Let's give him Josh Jones from Houston, and uh, we can move on with our life. Let's get that off the screen there. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I mean, they've been looking for edge help or whatever. So let's give them Yeter Gross models. I don't. I don't, I don't think they're gonna pay uh, Jadavian Clown. If they do, they're gonna pay them something cheap. Um, plus, they they're also they're always retooling edge. They're always retooling these DNs, man. So let's just give them um, give them Yeter Gross models and move on with our life. Plug them in, do what you want to do with them. Uh, Baltimore Ravens, I think they end up going with a guy like Zach Bond. They need edge help and like linebacker help. And 
who better than, than who who better to do that than the guy that can play edge and linebacker? You know what I mean? Uh, Zach Bond is one of those guys, and we know that the that the Baltimore Ravens like to do stuff like that. They like to draft these guys that can play uh, linebacker and edge, and end up plugging them in different places in their scheme or whatnot. They they need a lot of linebackers in that scheme. So hey, you know, and and they don't pay people because they're constantly drafting them, <laughs> which is smart and hilarious. Um, so go ahead and put Zach Bond on that team and. Move on with your life. So when it's time for you to make that Matt Judon decision, you know, um, Tennessee Titans, Tennessee Titans. I'm going to give them the best defender that's kind of left on my board. Let's give Jeff Gladney and move on with our life. I think putting uh, just 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 bolstering defense, keeping defense great, keeping defense great again. Um, and we'll probably uh, probably address some offense stuff for them later. You know, like, you know, if you want to go in different places on the offense, you could you you could you could address that. But I think the Titans are a team that's uh, that's that's trying to stay gangsters on defense, especially considering that they're running the football and they got Tannehill out there. Um, these next two picks are going to be wide receivers. Um, if I could take the best wide receiver for Green Bay Packers right here, I think it would just be T. Higgins. They need wide receiver help across the board. The uh, Packers, they probably end up doubling up at uh, wide receiver. So we're going to do that for them. And, um, you know, for the um, San Francisco 49ers, they could go Brandon Ayuk or KJ Hamill. I think either one of these guys, I think um, Ayuk, I have Ayuk ranked a little bit higher, but I think in terms of usage and the kind of guys that's on the 49ers already, I think they would try to get a guy that's different. And KJ Hamler, we're going to we're going to get him, plug him in and let him be our burner. Let him be our um, like our gadget guy. You know, they like to do quick game stuff and let guys be yak guys. I think KJ Hamler can do that for you so that's why i would draft hamler over brandon Ayuk at this point and um to be fair the the uh kansas city chiefs could do anything here they could they can draft any one of these receivers right here and just continue that 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 greatness on offense they can draft any one of these uh running backs the best running back is on the board but i think they can wait and end up getting one of these guys later they could do that but i think they're going to end up going defense so let's give them um Kenneth Murray, who, who you know, who 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 who's a fantastic talent, actually, for him to be sitting on the board right there at 32. And if you can't see the Chiefs, go ahead and make your make your defense better because you about to run to a little bit of salary cap hell. So you gonna have to cut a bunch of people, but you are gonna have to you know <laughs> keep Pat somehow. So hey, keep Pat and you know keep that defense bolstered and um, work on giving him some weapons later. You know. I think you got Tyreek uh, Tyreek locked in. You got Kelsey locked in. So that's a good start for you. So uh, over the next few years, you're going to have to replace some of those receivers that you can't keep some of those offensive linemen and keep that defense plentiful. All right. This is my draft, y'all. This is my draft. Uh, go in the comment section. Tell me if you liked your pick. If you didn't like your pick, who cares? <laughs> Leave. Y'all probably left anyway. Once I made your pick, whatever. Uh, I'm not really here for the for the feedback on this one. I know that um you know I know that that mock drafts really like stir up the emotion in people. I've never been that guy. I never understood why you know mock drafts do that. But um don't be mad at mock drafts. Be mad when you you know when your actual team drafts bad people. Don't you know? Don't don't don't, don't hit on Vach. <laughs> <laughs> it on them anyway i appreciate y'all for tuning in man Vach lombardi on twitter v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i join the patreon uh all that good stuff over there you probably had this mock draft days ago if you join me on uh patreon and i'm going to be doing a live draft reaction show on um on day one and day two of the draft so tune in it's going to be some fun times over there a lot of jokes and a lot of real life analysis all right y'all hold it down for the doski walski and the your whiskey man salute the YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.